so the story right here is called I See Crazy People from the Work Foshia Giria by Robert Smith III. Look down there. Can you see that okay? He's a ferocious people eater that hasn't eaten all day. So I guess those people must be out of their minds to keep scaling down the slope where the beast dines. And what's even worse is that the beast has no teeth. No teeth. You got that right. The people eater has no teeth. I guess he's waiting on a human that has nothing but gold teeth. Nothing but gold teeth. Exactly. He's waiting on a human with nothing but gold teeth. But yet and still, those people keep descending. And the bottom of the pit is looking a little gory. To the point that it is almost condescending. It's like euthanasia or either mass suicide. David Koresh has nothing on these people with the hearts they choose to hide. Didn't someone somewhere say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Just like driving, just like diving into a pool that has no water can land you in Sing Sing. You see, the devil's false teeth can lead a stray person into a false life. All shucks. The devil done found him exactly 32 gold teeth, including wisdom teeth. Now he's got false lights. See how misleading a picture can be? Something that looks so real is not always the real thing. I see crazy people, all trying to find a way out of the maze. You see, this is no rat race, because a pestilence will never exist at the end of days. Just let God lead, and listen for his voice. He talks to all his children, listening is our choice. When you found him, everything in life is real, and there is nothing fake about the real life or the commonest feeling of being in God's permissive will. This is the hard part, as I soon will remember, that some people can be so frigid like the middle of winter. You see, misery truly does love company. Did you know that misery has a CEO and a company? Those crazy little critters try to sway people to be miserable, as if misery is used to fill a chalice for the opposite effect of Cupid's bow. Maybe this makes for an even flow. But you must be out of your mind if you think the beast with gold teeth will catch me in the undertow. I must remain above the devil, while at the same time above sea level. I don't swim below water. I must keep this war on an even level. Actually, better than that, a level in my favor, may it always stay that way. May God always show me favor. People should never get jealous, and if they do, you know whom they are listening to. I can almost hear God saying, I know who you are listening to. So turn away from the negative lifestyle and begin to show and prove. For the beast with gold teeth is no master, but the master is you know who. Shh, there must be absolute silence. Make no mistake, God is on the other end of my phone of my phone that exists with no hook. Figuratively, I opened an account and never took a sec second look. So tell me why. Why are those crazy people descending when everybody wants, when what everybody wants is to one day be ascending? Riders in the sky, formed and built like an even plane. So many riders, the number is approximately to a storm in reference to the drops of rain. I must be extensively positive and need to lose and need not lose my focus. Like rabbits jumping out of hats. The miracles that Jesus did can put a plan back in focus. It's going to be a long ride. So you need to buckle up. As the table is set, men of war tend to toughen up. But God, of course, wants us to be honorable and all of the word honorable. When life shows a person spiritually the things God has done, the person would see why he's most honorable. So tell me, who can take you higher than the one who is called most high? The one who can give you a reason to live and not a reason to die. The story right there is called I See Crazy People from the work. Fosia Giria by Robert Smith III.